One day, in the not so distant past, six friends set out on a camping trip. S'mores, campfires, and scary stories were all they had planned for their weekend out of society. But it's funny how quickly things can go from a good time to a complete shitstorm. For you see, finding a place to take a dump would be the least of their worries for the next no. few days. Oh. No, 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 yes, that's it. Oh, God, that's no, no, no. They had much more of a fucked up weekend ahead of themselves. Why don't you get something done? Hmm? For there would be one more to join them in the woods that weekend. Something not quite human. Something not quite of this world. I guess you could call it like a ghost killer thing. And this ghost killer thing had something planned for their trip. A sinister plan to make them into a game. He quickly took out the weakest of the three, AKA no! the fat one and the women. But somehow the other three managed to escape to an abandoned cabin where they would find themselves stuck in the middle of a sticky situation. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. I got an idea. Let's move the stressor. Okay, okay, let's think, let's think. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna stay in this room, that's what I'm gonna do. Such a shame Chris was murdered, man. Ah, oh, the fat oh, one. No! It was fairly obvious that he'd be the first to go. Hell, I was surprised he didn't die from just setting up camp. Arms tingly. I'm having a heart attack. Maybe if he would have cut out the Twinkies, he would have had a chance. But now, he's as lifeless as one of those delicious little pastries. You know, he wasn't really murdered. He so was. But the ghost face murder killer guy that was out there. No, actually, he was taken down by a lack of physical activity, trans fat, and type 2 diabetes. A fate you might share, buddy. Chris had type 2 diabetes? Dude, you guys were roommates. You didn't know that? I don't know, man. I don't pay attention to stuff like that. Can we plan how to uh, escape this uh, ghost demon killer thing? Oh, I'm assuming you have this plan? I do. When we came running in here, I saw the kitchen. Shocker. Make our way to the kitchen and just... Yeah! on a cursed campsite that no one would dare go to. So why, why would there be food? Hmm? Cause kitchens have food. Wow, thank you. Thanks for sharing your brilliant plan. Oh, you're welcome, man. Uh, hey, I, I just wanna help. I was being sarcastic. He was, that was sarcasm. You suck! You suck, your mom suck. You know what, that's it. Siegfried and Roy? What the fuck? I'm sorry, I freaked out. I didn't know how to handle cock in the face. That's fucking it. I'm running for the car. Move! <laughs> what? Why not? A few reasons. Uh, the most obvious one being that your girlfriend had the keys. Is that Twinkie? Okay, boys, <laughs> it is time to get this party started. Uh -oh. If you haven't yeah. been able to tell by now, Ashley was one of those horse kind of girls. That's my girlfriend. <laughs> always doing horse things to get horse attention to feed her horse ego. She also loved to insert things inside of her mouth. And more times than not, she'd bite off oh, a little shit. more than she could chew and end up choking on them. And in this situation, the car keys. 
Forgot about Ashley. What? Hooker face make never leaves her pants on? Don't talk about my girlfriend like that. Ex-girlfriend now. Anyway, I saw her making out with, uh, Erica. Really? Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Holy shit! I didn't know she was bisexual. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm too hot to die. Oh, let me show you my dance. Ashley tried to do what she does to get out of every situation by using her whorish ways. They might have worked for her too if she had better gag reflexes. But nevertheless, her infinite defeat would be caused by her inability to keep things out of her mouth. Now, she's a disexual, huh? Go ahead, blow it up. Really? You get your kicks out of making fun of dead people? Is that what you do? You like that? No. Wait, what am I doing? I have studied six forms of martial arts, from Kung Fu to Capoeira. And now I shall combine them to make you my bitch. Come on. Erica always believed that the odds were against her in this man's world, so she always chose to stand up and fight. Unfortunately, that would be the cause of her infinite defeat. Well, that and the really, really inconvenient placing of that tent spike. Jesus. Who is it? We're getting dressed in here. Come on, what are you doing? Police, you boys okay? What are you doing? This could be a trick. Come on, let's, let's move this thing. Can we get over it? Just, come on. Oh, thank God. You boys okay? So I guess it's finally over. Sweet. Huh. Jackpot! Look what I found in the fridge. <laughs> that is the dumbest story ever. I am not a lesbian. I am totally not that fat. Hey gang, um, how come I wasn't in the story? Hey, do you guys want to watch me do this dance? No! no.